Sharky McShark by Allison Murray. Down at the bottom of the deep blue sea lived the meanest, most fearsome creature that had ever swum the watery depths. Sharky McShark was her name. When Sharky was around, the clownfish cleared out. The flat fish fled, and even the rocks got out of her way. Sharky was the biggest bully in the sea. She had no friends, and she didn't want any. Being a lone shark was best, she thought to herself. I don't need a soul. Then, one day, out of nowhere, a teensy wee crab bounced off Sharky's fin, nipped her nose, and landed on the seabed in front of her. Who dares nip my nose, said Sharky McShark. I'll eat you right up. The teensy wee crab quivered with fear. Oh, please don't eat me, she cried. Spare my life, and I promise I'll return the favor. You never know when you might need my help. Well, Sharky McShark found that very funny. Help, she sneered. From a teensy wee thing like you? Sharky laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> oh, she laughed so hard that she tumbled backward into an old fishing net that was tangled on the hook of a rusty anchor that was attached to an ancient wreck that was balanced on the edge of a deep sea abyss. For the first time in a hundred years, the old ship creaked. Then down it fell into the deep, deep dark, dragging Sharky with it. Lying at the bottom of the deep, dark abyss, Sharky McShark was no longer the meanest or the most fearsome creature in the sea. She was the loneliest. Oh, I wish someone would come to my rescue, said Sharky McShark. I wish I had a friend. In her heart, Sharky realized that making a new friend meant taking a chance. A scary chance. I'm a bully because I'm afraid. Afraid no one will like me. Now it's too late, thought Sharky. Then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, blink, blink, plop, someone familiar bounced off Sharky's nose and landed on the seabed in front of her. The teensy wee crabs set about snipping and snapping, clipping and cutting until at last Sharky was free and right then and there she decided to do the biggest bravest thing she had ever done. Will you be my friend? she asked. Of course said the teensy wee crab who knew that even big bad bullies deserved a second chance. And as it turned out, Sharky McShark was no longer the meanest, most fearsome creature in the deep blue sea. She was the friendliest.